honestly, I feel M80, they did look weak in that match against Toronto. They kind of got slapped around. I think they're veteran players on this squad, though. They can, they can pull themselves together and put up a big fight. But there's no doubt Timeless are smelling blood in the water here. This looks like a very winnable match with the way Timeless has been playing. I think Timeless has been a bit variable, but the more the tournament goes on, the stronger and stronger they look. I feel like they are peaking for this match. Yeah, Timeless looked so good versus yeah. Luminosity, though. I mean, they're, they're so good when both Rocket and Chopper are just firing on all cylinders. Mm -hmm. And like Riker's confidence yesterday in the interview, he was so confident yeah. between him and Icy being able to cover so many different tanks. They don't even know who's going to play before the day arrives for the match day. Um, I think they're going to go into this match very prepared. They know kind of what m deal is, even though they also have Hawk, who's very flexible in that regard. This is a Timeless squad that I think is fired up for the opportunity here in OWCS to take on some of these Overwatch League, uh, former Overwatch League players, right? This is when the open tournament system kind of comes into play, and we're going to see guys who have been grinding for the longest time in Tier 2 now go head-to-head -head against a team like M80, and I think they're really hungry for this opportunity right here, and I think they're going to give a great showing to us. Yeah, for the side of M80, though, we've got lots of heavy hitters to rely on. I think eyes on, for me, particularly players like Hydron. I really need to see a huge performance out of the hitscan, in particular this game. I think with how well Rocket's been playing, it's going to be all Pelican can do to just, just hold him back in the end. With high ping, it's a huge advantage in the Tracer duel for Rocket. Pelican, though, he was the one in this tough loss of Toronto fight who I felt like was still battling back, was still finding openings and keeping his team alive. And so I feel like he, he isn't letting the ping get the best of him. I think he will absolutely deliver a great performance today. But yeah, eyes on Hydron, eyes on Ultraviolet. We're going to need to see some production out of these guys. We're going to need to see some of those picks uh, because with this very aggressive style, these fast, aggressive tanks that Hawk likes to play, it's kind of up to a lot of a lot of production from DPS players to follow up on those openings, you know, turn that opening damage into real kills. I mean, I feel like it's going to be a tough, I guess, series to sort of predict which team is going to win. Yeah. Uh, we're going to Ilios first, selected by Timeless, and then followed by Midtown, and then to Esperanza. Uh, what, are we, what are you guys looking for in the first map, Ilios? I will say Riker, you know, looked great on the Winston. He's very comfortable on it, so I think that's probably why Timeless takes us here. Maybe there's a map or two where you can force the Winston here. However, when I did see Hawk on Winston, it wasn't yesterday, it was the day before, Hawk's Winston looked really yeah, clean. Better, yeah. He looked yeah. very practiced on that hero. I think he's been locking it in, grinding it. He's felt how much the meta has been towards Winston. And so in the months we haven't seen him play, I feel like Winston could be a very serious strength. It was not too much gameplay, but I really liked what I saw out of Hawk. So I think a Winston mirror could be actually a great start for M80. Yeah, I'm really gonna look out for the Tracers here. I think the Tracer matchup is crucial here. Pelican obviously established, amazing Tracer player. Playing on a bit of high ping here. How is that going to affect his performance? Now you're facing off against Rocket, who has been one of the best Tracer players in the tournament so far. All right, and I mean quickly, before we throw it to the casters, viewer predictions. Every, uh, chat has timeless 62%. 38% goes to M80. Are you that's, guys? That's interesting. I feel like yeah. that's kind of on par, right? I don't. I don't blame them. I mean, you just look recent performance. Timeless looks hot. M80 not so much. Mm. They are vets, though, so I don't count them out just yet. I mean, a bad performance yesterday, they can write that off and, and move on. And I mean, they have the skill to take this back. Yeah, we got a good one on our hands. Yeah, to that. All right, let's get the game started. I'm tossing it to our casters, Matt and Jaws. Take it away. I'm back, and I've got a new friend. Friend. Uh, Matt. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, I have to start out the day like that. You know, if I get my jab in first, he can't get uh, his jab in first. You know what I mean? Like, come on. I, I didn't say a thing. I was actually going to uh, uh, shoot a shot at Johnny. Like, who in the hell says Yakuza uh, for a jacuzzi? I mean, that was the most, that was the most ridiculous thing I've see, heard in a while. Most Swedish moment ever. Switching the J with the Y. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, he, he, he uh, I don't know. He's understand trying to talk Johnny smack, at all. But... Yeah, he's going to be. Uh, right. Yeah, but, but get, get him off. Uh, th this series should be pretty epic, uh, all things considered. Is the first map, it looks like, is Avril uh, there uh, at the bottom of the screen. No, Let's it'll go. be Ilios oh, there okay. uh, for map number one. Just watching uh, Avril's coast. Look, I, I think Timeless, Timeless is an incredible story, right? Uh, you know, players who are. Now more, I would say, up and coming compared to some of the players in the region who we've seen compete, uh, you know, in Overwatch League in the past, uh, you know, at the kind of like highest level of pro competition. Uh, I, I think a lot of people are just kind of like rallying around this awesome story though, right? Uh, you know, obviously we've seen CJ and Opener in the past, then, you know, uh, Riker, Rocket, Sojin, uh, Chopper. 
coming in playing great uh timeless will actually have a uh, Riker here in to start so they uh, kind of like switch between Riker I see uh it seems like they just kind of do it on a whim but Riker has been playing the Winston and the die tanks a lot of the time so that's what timeless will come out and start with as uh, look at this for M80 you're gonna actually have them come out with a MAGA look so uh, a little bit of a different look here for M80 at the start El Clasico comp Matt on this point just a bunker that's all it is just hope to catch someone off guard with one of those walls. It's going to be tough ready for timers to make anything uh, work here. You're really looking for like an initial kill from Sunjun or somebody to burst someone out. Speaking of which, it's our opener that gets bursted. Uh, Lep finds the boot. Not sure if that was a boot kill or just some damage. But regardless, M80 find that cap first and can be quite a tough point to really assail Matt. Timers are going to have a work out for them. I mean, Sunjun at least has nearly got a copy already. You're looking at like having some damage being put down, whether it's, you know, uh, the Tracer or the Winston just kind of like throwing down some damage and then the focusing beam of the Echo like coming in and trying to like finish one of those players off, kind of like, you know, surrounding the point and then just kind of making a play for it as uh, Reichel jumped down. You do have the copy though. We'll see how they decide to use it as looks like they get wall out. This may be an opportunity for them to go. Here's Malga, the dupe target. Oh, Sunjun's in and he's out again. Uh-oh, uh he's not going to survive too long, even with that cardiac overdrive. Open is dead again to Hydron. They tried to follow up with that one, Matt, but yeah, that did not work out at all. Well, because if 80 is taking so much damage, they're actually able to build up a beat already, right? Uh, so sound barrier in that fight uh, for M80. Coalescence here as well. Kitsune Rush going to be answered by that. Coalescence is Timeless wants to take another fight. Yeah, you still want to kill those turrets, though. Quite annoying for the Tracer to kind of deal with, but there's the boot from Riker. Knocks Pelican off of the map. But as soon as he steps in to M80's domain, he just gets shredded. And there's the wall, too. M80 running away with this one. Not an unconventional comp to say the least. Very classic for this uh, stage and some stages in control. But at time, there's just no answers to deal with it. And the Winston's going to be difficult to play into Mog, right? Uh, when, when Timeless has usually kind of gone like Ramacha or something else, it's typically been nice. Is that the TP just to get some players back to the point here uh, for M80? But Pelican takes out CJ right away. I mean, that is brutal. Opener not even to that first sound barrier just yet. Going to get it here probably towards the end, but it may not even mean anything. Opener from the highest rope possible. Drop that sound barrier onto the point. Riker dies. The beat comes out for M80, and that'll be it. Wow, timeless. Not even. I don't think they even got uh, one single like pixel of like capture progress there. It felt like M80 with a shutout performance. Uh, no, I mean, that was dominant there from M80. I think it's a really great read on like, okay, you know, between Riker and Icy, who's in the game? This is what we can play here uh, on this first point and really kind of catch them off guard. So uh, maybe the MAGA is not something that M80 wants to play all of the time, right? We saw them play it the other day on uh, Midtown for a little bit. But I know in situations like that, where you can bunker up with the MAGA, the Sim, uh, and the May, I mean, it's very difficult to beat, especially if you're going to play dive. So... Uh, timeless still sometimes you make some changes here but uh, at least look like they're going to be running diva here at the start so uh, maybe thinking that there's going to be like a, a winston possibly on the other side we're going to get a good old widowmaker matchup as well between uh, hydron and sojourn not complaining one bit honestly it's been a while since we've had a, a good old widow 1v1 feels like anyway See how it ends up uh, turning out. It's actually Lep that goes down first. Not even a headshot there from Sonjin. It's just just a clean little body shot. Point unlocks. Time is putting themselves on it. Without Lep, I mean, it's hard for Hawk to really get much positioning there, Matt. Oh, wow. Good kill. Yeah, I mean, uh, we had a nice, uh, nice shot at range there onto the Tracer where, yeah, it's difficult for Hawk to kind of like move up into position, uh, especially just taking damage at range from the Widow, right? The Widow, the Tracer just pelting damage down where... You need that Lucio speed, uh, or else the Aris is going to have to use all her cooldowns to be able to get there. So uh, without that Lucio speed, have to kind of like just back up. It'll be a losing fight here, and a lot of this will come down to this Widowmaker matchup. Yeah, it really will. Oh, he's hunting for headshots. Saw Pelican. Both Widows exchanging body shots there briefly. Point is being contested, at least uh, somewhat, by Hawk. I think he's a Riker, Matt. He can just dip in and out, in and out, in and out onto the point, right? That's exactly what he's doing right now. Just holding that Matrix up. Just make sure that it doesn't take too much damage. 
Able to take the point, though, uh, M80, without giving over a single kill. Oh. Okay, finally. Hydra on the board now. Danny... Yeah, Danny talked to, uh, when he talked to Pelican the other day, like, really how difficult it is as a Hydron takes a shot, but uh, looks like you're going to be able to keep him alive. Yeah, as Pelican there to dive on in, but you know, how difficult it is for Pelican to play that, uh, you know, Tracer on that high ping. Uh, going up against Rocket, pretty uh, pretty brutal scenario there as uh, Riker will get D-Mech, so uh, he'll have to back on up and, you know, go back to spawn. Uh, now, maybe you switch tanks here. You consider it, right? Uh, yeah. You're going to give up that... Ultimate, maybe you don't want to play the D.Va yes, here they, as, uh, yeah, they're going to match the Orisa. So I, I think this is a good swap. I think uh, the D.Va was really good to kind of like access that back line. You know, maybe if they're playing the, the Maga, you can kind of like survive a little bit better with the Matrix. Uh, Widowmaker in for sight here uh, for Timeless as now they try and, you know, match the tanks and move on it. Yeah, here comes the rush. Both of them, in fact, on the points. Tunjan can see Hydron through those walls. Same with Rocket, though. Hydron's so low. I mean, surely doesn't get away from Rocket. No chance. Pelican with the Pulse Bomb. Does kill Opener. Pulse Bomb Rocket goes wide. Still peppering the back line, taking them low. UV in trouble. TP's away, but doesn't TP far enough for Rocket to hound them down. Even CJ taking care of Pelican there. It's timeless. They're going to get the cap again. They can probably stagger out. Okay, they don't stagger out too long. M80 72% to times is 50 now. Yeah, it feels like a lot of times where if Timeless can get it into like these, like, you know, the fights kick off, right? We end up in these like three on three scenarios, right? It feels like CJ and Rocket do a great job of just living throughout all of those. And when those two players are alive, you feel really good uh, if you're Timeless about being able to come on, on top. As this will be the infrasight here from Hydron. So gonna force everybody from Timeless to play a little bit further back, you know, obviously behind that cover. Oh, oh, nice headshot. Oh, the one bullet. No, couldn't quite get it. One HP with Sunjin. Sound barrier for opener. Is going to see them as team through. The rest their small engagement. Good headshot onto CJ. Another one is going to rattle through Riker's skull, but oh, Hydron takes another head with him. Still, though, time is in control of the point here, Matt. It's still a bit of an issue for M80. They don't exactly want the Widowmaker touching the point. So they may have cleaned two, but yeah, I, I don't think what they got this either. That you can't push this either, right? Because you're going to lose uh, or Ultraviolet's going to get quite low. You had already lost Hawk, so you can't exactly push on in. So both teams going to get back to full strength before this next fight. Sunjin. Oh, he takes the head off a lip. A lip even. I mean, Hydron now in a situation where he needs to track down Sunjin. Oh, Pelican will do just that. So Hydron's a little bit more free now. Same with Rocket on that point. Oh, my God. Hydron again. A little 45 degree flick hang on the... Uh, on the Tracer? My God, he's good. Unfortunately though, M80, they don't end up touching. You see UV trying to drop onto the point to get that retouch, but Timeless end up securing the round. Yeah, there are a few players there for M80. I think it's like a boop that comes out. Uh, and then also CJ kind of like pushing up and nobody able to really get there to get a touch. So a nice play by opener at the end. But yeah, I mean, Hydron uh, clicking some heads in a serious fashion for uh, M80 there in the Widowmaker matchup. Uh, but still, it's just not enough, right? Uh, no, you kind of like see a lot of these kills kind of coming after maybe they've lost a player or something, which, you know, obviously is not Hydron's fault, but uh, still just uh, you know, not able to secure that point where now Timeless, uh, they, they have an idea like, okay, so they can play the Maga here potentially, right? You know, the on the side of M80, they could play like the Orisa. It'll be Hawk actually playing that Winston that Jake uh, was talking about. So uh, Hawk has looked quite good on the hero as Timeless will play a little bit more defensive, having a Cassidy in the mix with the Orisa. Well, oh, goodbye. Goodbye, see ya. Nice thing about having the Cassidy there. <laughs> Lay a couple of shots in. That Helps kill happens so kill. fast, though, that, like, you're not going to be able to get the point off of that. Like, the kill yeah, happens, like, he's still going to have, like, you know, a few seconds here before the point even opens up, as Pelican's going to just switch to Sojourn and come right back. All right, yeah, Soj, name of the game now. Yeah, don't want to face the cast. Decent old charge on Sojourn, by the way, 50%. There's the cap, so MAT unable to kind of juggle it there. Pelican just under so much pressure. 7 HP? Ooh, slips away. Mega health pack is his. Luckily for Pelican, Hawk is doing a lot of work in the front line, killing CJ as Pelican enters the fight again. Now on the point, Hydron ends up going down to Rocket. So much for Rocket's POV, just permanently just trying to check Hawk. That's the best thing you can do as the Tracer, right? Just make sure Hawk's uh, kind of kept in check. He ends up jumping in. If you can get an angle on him when Hawk's looking at someone else, you can really just melt the monkey. 
Yeah, they do end up flipping the point though. So uh, M80 gets control. The one thing that's quite interesting is like for M80 typically, right? Like if you're going to see some kind of like hit scam, it's going to be Hydra. It's not really going to be Pelican because, but they come out with like the Echo and the Tracer right away where obviously you'd have Pelican play that. Uh, it's going to force Pelican over the Sojourn. So just like how we were talking about how it's pretty difficult to play that Tracer on that high pink, uh, Sojourn the same way, right? Nailing those rail guns against these really mobile targets. Yeah, it's super tough. Terra Surge, Hydron just slipping right through into enemy lines. Just be a little bit careful though, forced to recall. Riker's pretty low. M80 still with control of the point. Riker used pretty much every cooldown that he's got. It ends up working out. And this is the big thing about the Orisa. So we've been talking about with the Malga matchup as well, Matt, is the Orisa doesn't need as much support as like this monkey does from M80. Yeah, and, uh, you know, look, the Orisa can really get in the back line, cause a lot of problems. Like, uh, you see how fast they're forcing out, like, Pelicans, you know, slide, and then they're just having the Tracer kind of collapse. As, uh, you know, the, the Cassidy is in an interesting spot here, right? Can play very defensive. Uh, you know, 275 HP, the damage reduction uh, as well with, like, a roll. So it would be very difficult to dislodge this Cassidy just kind of playing around this Orisa. And then you just get offensive with it. Oh, speaking of getting offensive with it, oh, some skulls lighting up. Do not peek, Pelican. Do not peek. It's, no it's in peek. the rush as well. Yes. Yeah, disgusting, yeah. Disgustingly fast charge. Oh, no. Oh, nice spear. And Rock is there to follow up with that. Pelican did not see that coming. Even on, like, uh, you know, land ping. I don't think you, you'd be able to react to that one. Or a spear being thrown at you and then rock it by your side. Once again, Hawk in a lot of trouble. Forced upon that Primal Rage, but it's just getting chunked out. This point being permanently pressured as well by M80, but there's always someone there to kind of juggle, make sure there's no free caps going through. Hawk goes down to a pulse bomb and he's kind of slipping away from M80 right now, Matt. Well, yeah, and Pelican goes back to the Echo here. So uh, going to try and play this Echo again, which is going to be pretty tough into the Cassidy and Tracer, two of the best heroes in terms of like countering this Echo. So uh, no, what? you're looking at Hydron's pulse bomb here. It has to be huge. Consider Rush for Ultraviolet as well, as Hawk starts well, off the get, fight with a kill. the sound barrier. Yeah, open a dead, no B for Timeless. Okay, fight on point. You're not too scared of uh, losing this one. You still have 50% to give. Pulse one goes out onto the Orisa, force them to use ult. So, I mean, Timeless can come back in, though. They got beat. They got Terra Surge. Maybe no worries. Or maybe a couple, because uh, Ultraviolet yeah, You also think that Timeless probably... Timeless builds up towards a Kitsune rush here as well, right? right. So CJ is going to be able to build this up really fast. Uh, they'll probably just have somebody just to walk out of spawn and take a little bit of damage and then uh, be able to get that ultimate. So uh, Sojourn going to switch over to the Sojourn here. Uh, it, uh, a little bit harder to kind of deal with, you know, maybe the Echo, but also the Sojourn really good against the Orisa, just burning that armor. Yeah, an easy railgun charge as well, right? Charge it up in the Orisa, go for a headshot on someone else. Do the same again, rinse and repeat. Kusuno Rush instantly used there as the Suzu comes out from CJ to sell, uh, help him save himself from the stickies. Pelican with the duplication too. Is uh, playing this one a little bit more passive, waiting for that pulse bomb to charge up. There's the stick, Terra Surge comes out and bada bing, bada boom, Riker down. That Pelican duplicate doing a lot of work for M80. And with 99% an OT incoming, Sunjun needs to be able to find something here. Rocket has got Pulse Bomb, but I mean, he's pretty low at this point. Manages to blink on there to re-trigger OT, but before he can get the Pulse Bomb out, he's already sent back to spawn. Hydra now got a Pulse Bomb of his own in about 5%. That Terra Surge locking the door behind Timeless, and that should be M80's map. And there we go. Map number one taken by M80. Helios is there. Yeah, really close map number one. I think it's just open or sound barrier, just a little bit late, right? Uh, you know, not able to save Riker. He gets hit with a pulse bomb, ends up trying to use the terror surge to use a fortify to like try and live on through it. Uh, and maybe they thought there was a sound barrier on the other side and you're kind of like saving it to like mirror the sound barriers, right? Uh, there's no sojourn on the other side of things. So like not really worried about obviously an overclock. So uh, maybe you thought that Lep had that sound barrier, they were gonna drop it. Uh, and then, you know, things are gonna, you know, just kind of progress after that but I uh, could have really used Rikers Orisa alive in that fight at the end. Yeah, M80 taking an early lead. First to three, of course, in this series, then a first to four in our finals. But M80 looking good. Timeless have been the ones to contend with, especially through uh, 
through the bracket stage, they have just been, man, they've been beating back some of the best. I mean, we went to a map five, right, against Toronto Defiant, who are currently sitting in the yeah. finals. Midtown is our next map now, man. Yeah, and I and I think if you're timeless, like you can't really be too disappointed with the result in map number one, considering I think they got really, you know, game plan scouted there at the beginning, right? That MAGA comp, there was really no chance they were going to win that first point. Let's have a little listening, though, to M80 and their winning moment in that last round. One, one, one. Nice. Lucio, 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 Nice living nice. The tracer play there is just the definition of being everywhere at a single moment in time, like chasing the tracer, yeah. cleaning the kill up, and then straight to the back line, just peppering down the supports, and then, oh, Zojin's in your face, oh, and then easy kills, right? That was a masterful play there from M80. Let's have a look at some of the highlights from this last map. I mean, this was a shutout map, but it's kind of strange. Like, when we go into a series, uh, or into a map, sorry, and we see these more unconventional comps that are just specifically built for that one stage, especially in control. It can be a bit, um, it can be a bit deceiving when it comes to results. I think. Uh, yeah, I mean, it can be really one-sided, right? You lose the first fight or two. Maybe you have to make some switches. You end up with no ultimates, and then uh, you know, there's really nothing you can do at that point. Where it feels like you know, uh, ruins and well were really kind of the two I would you know look to to take some something from this series. Where both of these were extremely close. Uh, you know, really nice shots here from Hydron on the Widowmaker, like we talked about. But as we move into Midtown, uh, I think the biggest thing will be like, okay, if you're M80 what do they do in terms of tank right is it Riker or icy and maybe that gives you a little bit of indication of what they're going to play and you know hawk has shown he's able to play the winston the orisa the sigma the maga right uh then you kind of start to form your game plan after that yeah it's it was funny hearing from timeless the other day when they're like well you know we just play whoever and yeah we'll just see what happens <laughs> it's one of my uh kind of favorite like strats from the strat book from coaches like oh, i don't know we just do it and then you know if it works out great we'll just keep the player in or uh, the enemy team aren't gonna know what we're doing because we don't know what we're doing the Cla el classico it feels like hey it's it's better than some of the stuff we've seen in the past right we see a player like dominate and then it's like oh well he didn't play this map during the week so we have to take him out to put in somebody who hasn't been in all series yeah, uh, if they're on a heater too, keep him in you know yeah pretty difficult uh looks like we do have some uh, sub potentially for timeless so uh we'll get those teed up in just a, a bit but i'd imagine uh, i know maybe you see chopper come in maybe you see uh icy come in uh and then what do they do in terms of composition here against m80 will be the story yeah it feels like an icy map uh midtown especially with uh playing like things like the sigma but we'll have to wait and see of course we'll get those into you in just a moment the players just uh sorting them in Sounds like we're just having a DPS swap, in fact. So Riker is staying in. Okay. It's going to be Chopper coming in, like you said, Matt. So uh, Sonjun is going to take a back seat for now. Yeah, they, they, they make the substitution in terms of a uh, damage dealer pretty frequently. Like uh, in yep. one of the series we've done with them, we've seen Chopper pretty much the entire way through. Then we saw another one where he played like the first like two maps and then, you know, they put in uh, you know, Sunjun for the next two and then, you know, put them both in. Uh, they took out Rocket on a final map. So uh, we've seen them kind of do all different things in terms of like their damage dealer lineup. I think just looking at it more, it's like, okay, with Riker in, you're looking at like Winston, Diva, or Risa play potential here on Midtown. Yeah, I mean, that makes the most sense to me. And they have a lot of, uh, especially when they go to like long range kind of maps uh, where you can play long range hit scan. Sunjun seems like the perfect fit there. So Widowmaker, yeah, I mean, the Widowmaker highlights real kind of speaks for itself. And then yeah, obviously the Sojourn play as well. So it makes a lot of sense. Hollywood, I think we saw him on the other day too. Um, High ground Hollywood, just another classic. Loading into Midtown in just a moment though. We'll see if uh, Timers can come back in this series. Of course, both teams might struggle a little bit against uh, Toronto to find up in the final but I mean, Timers have already been there. They've already been to a map number five. They've been swinging uh, left and right. But the thing is yep. with M80, they have looked a little bit weaker. They haven't really lived up to the big like star power on their roster. And like they've touched on the desk, Pelican was really just kind of keeping them in it. So here's the time to really turn it around. I mean, they have to, I suppose, because it's the loser's bracket, right? 
Yeah, I mean, uh, you don't turn it around here. You're uh, uh, you're, you're obviously not not doing much of anything. Yeah. So uh, as we move forward, though, uh, I'm curious what we see with. Uh, so M80 will be on defense. So it will be the Arisa. I was going to say, like, you know, if you have a uh, potentially you new know, Sigma here, like the Winston here on offense for Timeless would be pretty strong. Uh, but uh, you also think, you know, just playing the Arisa in that head to head, like, I, I think if you're timeless, like you're okay doing taking that like you know mirror matchup. Uh, I, I don't think it's something where you view yourself as like a at a weaker state uh, taking that mirror. You know, uh, with obviously you know Rocket and Chopper being tremendous on the tracer and the soldier. We'd love to see Rocket switch with the tool, but I don't think it's going to happen. Sadly, one day I'll get the meadow where Torb is perma pick, but I think that'd be quite miserable actually <laughs> thinking about it. Something drastically would have to gone wrong with balance there if uh, Torp was found better. Ooh, okay. Level three turret. Bring it back. Bring it back. And it just instant deploys. Hell yeah. Oh, Riker's wondering where yeah. the rest of his oh. team went. Well, I can tell you, they're dead. They're in spawn. Yeah, M80 sees that uh, nobody else goes with Riker through the choke, and uh, they just push <laughs> on right through and take out everybody else. So a uh, pretty fast first team fight there in favor of uh, M80 as now Riker moves a little bit left, pushes up. Everybody else stays kind of like near the choke, and uh, at that point, it's Hawk with a spear spin, a speed boost, and everybody's in trouble on Timeless. All right, quicker rotation. Well, the rocket is under massive amounts of pressure. Really early recall force there. It's not the best, but I mean, you can at least still control the launch mat here. So it's all about getting onto that mega health pack. That's a good start. Chopper taking care of Hydra. Now the Lucio will join Rocket. Opener giving them a little support. There's a rotation up to the train car for M80. Just kind of hiding out right now, waiting for reinforcements. Yes, yeah, it looks like some damage went on the Hawk and both supports and Hawk end up inside of the train car up on that high ground. That's going to be a second tick here for Timeless as now they have Chopper in this great position here up on the high ground. Yeah, it's going to be really hard to dislodge Chopper up there, but just get out of his line of sight by rushing into the small room with that rush. 5% for CJ to unlock that one and a Pelican with another unbelievable pulse bomb on the staircase. Always seems to pull out on Midtown. Double pulses saving the day for Pelican once again. Yeah, and I know some of that extra, you know, ultimate charge right from that really clean first fight gives that Kitsune Rush to Ultraviolet right away. They use it in that, you know, close quarter area. There's not really anything Timeless can do at that point where uh, Pelican lurking here up on the high ground. They've just seen if you can find a support here in the bank. Oh. Some damage on CJ. That's going to have the Kitsune Rush right away. Yeah, good clip. And Opener's already dead, Matt. Same with CJ, already gone. Oh, time is kind of falling apart right now. Rocket just end up uh, getting a kill onto Lep. The point is pressured somewhat by Rocket, but he's going to have to get out of there. No supports for Timeless. Oh, but Pelican going down. That is not a kill that you want to see if you're M80. Losing Pelican that late. And look at how quickly they're going to be able to regroup and push in. Yeah, I think just putting that point pressure, just bring them back from the choke, right? Uh, you know, M80 playing so aggressive at the choke. Really difficult for Timeless to Good deal shots. with. Sound barriers for both sides, but and Chopper just able to nail those shots with the overclock. CJ picks up one. This should be Timeless getting first point. Yeah, there you go. Three minutes and 40 seconds. That Pelican, that Pelican death, man. You, you just can't go down that late. You cannot do that. And especially since Times lost both supports, and then they were literally on their way back, and they saw that kill happen. Like, yeah, that's a real rough on Pelican there. Which blame on Ping? Easiest excuse in the book. Yes, uh, Timeless. Timeless tries to push up there, maybe control a little bit of that high ground, but you know, not able to do so. M80 speeds right up to it with all five players, and then uh, they'll play Hawk on the low ground. Spear spin gone already, he's gonna have to back up. Doesn't want to mess with the front line. Not Riker, my superstar. Oh, good spear onto Chopper. Another nice pulse, but didn't find anything else but damage. That's just good with the pulses there, but can't really stick the Arisa, not right now, especially with uh, Kiriko too. It's hard to really get a lot of value with Pulse Bomb, so when a double Pulse does come up, it is a sight to behold. All going super deep into the back line now, trying to force CJ to make a move, use Suzu. It's exactly what he did, but Hawk overstepping, overstayed his welcome. Ends up going down, they trade it for Rocket, but I mean the high ground control very much in favor of Timeless. Hydron trying to fight back, jumping up to a high ground of his own, but Chopper receives the Suzu and Hydron dead before he hit the floor. It's time to get the payload rolling under the subway. 
Yes, I mean, uh, you do get that first pick off there. Uh, I know it's a it pulse bomb on the Hawk, and then they trade out like Hawk for Rocket. Uh, but you have that Arisa alive with Terror Surge, right? They just get right, right up to the high ground, and uh, that gives Chopper awesome position to pick up two here. Is, and now Timeless, you know, they get the payload through probably, you know, one of the, the tougher points here, you know, trying to get towards that second checkpoint. It's uh, one player quite low. It's a Hydra. It's a nice shot into Chopper. Not enough to finish him off, though. Chopper's in a good position, too. They've got control of the bot right now. They're going to have to force M80 to kind of drop onto them. Hawk's going to take a lot of punishment here. They're going to try and get into get into the mix. Chopper's so low. No heals. No one was paying attention to him. It was only Pelican kind of looking at him there. Let us use the beats. Same with Opener, Timeless, and, and M80. Opener's, the... Opener's got interrupted, I'm pretty sure. Uh, I think we can Literally take a look jumped. at like a replay, but pretty sure that is like a hawk spear into opener as he went to go land that sound barrier because sound barrier comes down from left shield on everybody sound barrier from timeless uh did not see any shield really go off so uh, we'll see if we can maybe get a replay on that get a confirmation but pretty sure uh, that is a spear from hawk uh into the sound barrier there i know as lucio's going for it from timeless so uh we saw that the other day as well it may have been from hawk too uh you know with uh, the aresis uh you're able to interrupt these you know channeled kind of like ultimates uh, with relative ease Search available for Hawk now. Doesn't want to mess with that though. That pulse one going right over his head. Just attached to the wall instead. Katuni rush onto the bus. Now Hawk's in trouble. Pops the terror surge to try and survive a little bit longer, but nope. Not that far away from your support. You don't. Riker and Hawk end up going down. Same with Chopper here. Very messy fights. CJ Open and Rocket still trying to hold down this fort. The Pelicans just kind of peppering him from the side. They're trying to get up to this bus. They're trying to just look at the supports on high ground. It's just not happening, Chief. It's just, it, nah, you, you can't get it down from there. Nice kill. 17 yeah, seconds to go. Pelican will, yeah, Pelican will finish off Rocket there at the end. So yeah, that, uh, that sound barrier did get interrupted. So huge play there from Hawk is timeless. They'll work their way back here. Let's see if there's going to be somebody able to get a touch. Is, Looks like Riker's gonna try and get the spear spin. Gonna get pushed back, but does get a touch. They're gonna have their sound barrier yet again, though. Yeah, we'll see if Hall can interrupt a second one. Another Ajax, maybe? Opener's got it. It's probably gonna be a little bit more safe this time. There it is. Beat from the underpass. Everybody running forward with uh, bright green health now. MAT a little bit green with Envy. If I'm honest with you, his left is so close to a sound barrier. 99% about to tick over. Chopper in a good spot. Here comes Hydron with the overclock. That sound barrier not quite enough to save him, though. Landed a fraction of a second too late. Rocket 3 HP, dipped by Pelican. As M80 continue to try and hold this point. A nice little boop. Lucio just pinned to the payload, though, and Hawk tried as he might. Could not get another touch without giving up his life in OT. Looks like time is going to make this one stick. Not even Pelican can save you now. There is spawners coming in, though, Matt. I mean, just the spear spin should be good enough. And with a kill to Ultraviolet, that'll be it. Timeless managed to get that payload going. Get that second checkpoint. Add some more time to their time back as M80 go for a reset. Yes, uh, crazy plays there as uh, they're able to build up towards that sound barrier. Uh, opener drops it, and then it, it looks like for a second that M80 does a great job kiting, right? They're going to be able to get their own sound barrier off kind of like in return, but the kill on the Hydron happens right before the beat. So uh, losing that soldier is a lot of your damage. It's pretty tough. Oh, that's an unfortunate TP right into the disrupt shot. All good, though. Shrugs it off. A lot of ults for Timeless, though. That's uh a big problem, especially for Hydron, is Chopper has that railgun advantage, and that overclock. They're just going to want to peek this corner, I'd imagine. Just let it oh, let it fly. Okay, well, Chopper's flying now, unfortunately, up to heaven. Pelican with an easy kill. And uh, M80 just trying to stagger as much of these kills as possible. Any late kills here is going to be nice. Pelican with a floor pole straight on top of Riker. That'll do. 50, uh, 30 seconds to go, Matt. It's time. There's a struggling to get this fight turned in their favor yes maybe Riker thinks he can do enough damage there that uh, you know players coming off spawn can follow up pick up a kill or two and make it a little bit messy but not able to do so with the terror search. so we're gonna go into OT here yet again sound barriers from both sides but timeless with that Katsuni rush could use it to open things up yeah rush for CJ he's in trouble though that's a really nice position there from Hawk just rushes the back line but needed to receive that beat in order to stay alive Chopper trying to find some headshots. Ultraviolet peeking out for a moment there, but it's actually Pelican 
It's Chopper's first victim in the front line. That overclock and then a punch. Easy kill onto Pelican. And there we go. Time is once again in OT. They're going to roll this payload on, but M80. They got something to say about it, and Hydron's got an overclock of his own, and there's not much left in Timeless's bank now. Yeah, Timeless needed to use their overclock and pretty much everything else. They end up getting the cart moving, where Hydron's now going to have his with no sound barrier on the other side. So we typically see the sound barrier kind of used to, you know, help teams live through the damage that the Sojourn can put out during the overclock. Oh, see, this is what a Hydron. shot. Some kills. Opener jumping over the payload, trying to get away. Just wasn't able to do so. Chopper does end up shutting Hydron down, but is it really enough? I mean, the back line is just bleeding out on the floor. Chopper there, CJ gone. There we go. OT finished. As M80 make their stand on point three there is uh, timeless. They get it a fairly decent way. Midtown pretty hard to complete with time, to be fair, but a completion would have been the best they could have asked for. But unfortunately, they don't get that. Yeah. I mean, look, their their first push wasn't great, right? M80 was able to kind of like hold for a pretty decent time on uh, you know point A, and then uh, going towards that second checkpoint as well. M80 did a really nice job, just basically getting into OT. So kind of dwindled that clock. A long uh, long run where timeless. I think you have to be pretty fortunate you even got it that long. Uh, I know with how uh, M80 was playing on the defensive side of things. So. Uh, we'll see if there's any comp adjustments here. Uh, I know going into the second half, uh, really probably looking more at like timeless on defense if they want to kind of like you know, change anything up where uh, at least at the start. Yeah, no, you're not going to play. I was going to say the, the Ilari for Lucio swap oh. would be uh, oh, very yeah. interesting, uh, uh, but that is not going to happen. Oh. So uh, it's going to be a mirror matchup for both sides. If that were me, I'll be popping in the Ilari, bro. I'm ready. I'm just going to put that pile on down. Just sit there. Just start shooting people. Just play around the pylon, bro. He's a game. I'm also not very good at the game. Dwight Custer won't queue with you anymore. Okay, that is not my fault. Scott is just mean to me. I don't know why now. I think you convinced him <laughs> otherwise since I've been away. Let's have a little M80 listening at the, the end of that round. Oh, my. Not the end of round, right now. Hey there, Cop. Is there Monkey? Come back to the I think they might play Monkey here. First off. First, 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 first. Okay, okay. I go left side. Three, two, yep. one. Can I get on? They're not that. He's blocked me, right? I want to get fire truck, guys. I'm about to go fire truck. I'm really good at fire I'm really good at fire truck. 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 I'm under high gun, okay? I got you. Some of the deer. We can peek right there. We can peek right side. 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 Walk, 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 walk. Who's so tough? So tough, so tough. Zenith, Zenith, Zenith. What the fuck is this supposed to be doing? We're south, we're south, we're south. We have all the space around right now. Three, 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 Getting very, very good space up on that high ground initially, and now trying to battle over this point, Matt. Yeah, and I think they go. Uh, what the hell is that Arisa doing? Uh, I know, uh, maybe, maybe sub out, sub out a word or so, uh, because Riker doesn't like kind of like back up around the corner, right? He kind of like actually kind of still plays a little bit forward up towards that fire truck. So maybe they were like, hey, what, what is this guy doing? Like, we can probably get a kill on him. They're not able to pressure him down. Consuming rush for both sides, but they find Pelican again early. Yeah, Ultra is dead too. It's the end of the fight. They got a tick, but two and a half minutes. It's not the worst. Good focus fire from Timeless at the very end there. Yeah, I wonder how Pelican goes down to the just the random donuts to Lucio. It must have been a, maybe a railgun shot. That's normally what happens. It's also interesting that Timeless is like okay giving up like where the fire truck is and like you know maybe they don't want to fight like in that small room like hey let the like if they want to take fire truck and rotate to that left building that's fine like we'll take the fight in the open on the point right like as things open up allows a little bit you know uh, easier time for Rocket and Chopper to just make individual plays. Hawk doing the same thing as before just taking that high ground control as fast as possible. But be careful, sound barrier and overclock. Oh my! Okay, Lev almost hit, got hit with the AJ there. Opener booped him high in the sky. And because I think that sound barrier landed so late, Matt, unable to save some of the members of M80. 
Yeah, I was going to say the, the the beat landed so late because he goes so high into the air uh, that they're not able to save. I think it's like the first member of the team ends up falling. So they don't actually have that sound barrier to save that one player, which uh, we know how huge sound barrier is. Really the only big support ultimate uh, you know, for any team uh, really throughout the tournament. And a lot of people have been playing, you know, uh, Moira, Baptiste, uh, you know, really Lucia, the only one with a big true support ult. All right, Terra Surges for both the racers. Can't wait for them to use them on top of each other. Oh, no, maybe not. Pulse Bomb right on top of Riker there as soon as he used that Terra Surge, but Hydra's already dead. Who's going to meet their fate? Well, it's Pelican, and it's not, unfortunately, a kill for Hawk there using his ultimates. Lep also ends up going down. Wow, Timeless's defense looking unreal. 45 seconds to go, Matt, and M80 threw everything they, they had. They've only got a rush for this final fight now, and it's going to get matched by CJs. Yes, uh, both the Reese's when the uh, Terra Surges come out, just both pop fortify and just walk out. Uh, no, no, no real uh, impact there for those ultimates where, yeah, final fight territory here. Timeless has played this really well, just not kind of like playing for that close quarter fight, playing a little bit deeper. Both of them ripped at the same time. Riker super low. Hydra on a nice little angle. Takes care of opener. It's Pelican in the back. Forced to recall. Nice little pulse bomb. Eat actually from Hawk with that spear spin. Could have been the end of his life pretty swiftly as Pelican's found himself in the back line. Riker does take down Hydron, but I mean, Pelican needs to come up with big kills here. He's going to get joined by his own Kiriko, and they actually end up trading. Two ticks on the board. Chopper gets booped off of high ground, but it's only Hawk on the point. M80 are going to get shut out here as Timeless had a beat to spare at the very end and tie up the series. Yeah, really nice stuff there from Timeless. Like, they, they don't want to play. We know we see a lot of teams, right? They fight over that fire truck, uh, that like left hand building when you're kind of looking on the point. Uh, they don't want to fight over there. They never once kind of take that close quarter duel there, you know, trying to fight over, I uh, you know, control of that area of the map. They kind of give it up, allow M80 a little bit further out onto the, the point, and then just kind of like poke them down a little bit and then decide when they have the advantage and when to go. Really nice strat there from Timeless. Yeah, I, I really like that. And thinking about that a little bit more, like you said, the way Hawk did that was go up to the subway on the little like staircase, and then they were trying to like just flood onto the point or like push people back. It makes sense to go in that direction because if you go to the mega health pack room, the Sojin on the enemy team on the defense has so much more of an angle and the disruption shot at like any rail guns that are getting fired through. So it kind of makes sense for Hawk there, but Timus was just able to trump him. Uh, on on defense we typically see teams play the position that timeless like played from with like a sigma in the mix you don't really right. play there with like an orisa right you play there like with a sigma a little bit more defensive right you know the the accretion if they have to like kind of like flood out uh, they play it with Arisa, which gives them a little bit more, uh, like, staying power on the point. Like, the Arisa is able to spear spin, get out. Like, not, you know, the Sigma gives up so much room uh, there that you're playing so defensive. So they play it with the Arisa, which is really interesting. Well, Tynus end up taking that map. Let's listen into their winning round of comms there. So, I have to see what they have to say. 3, 2, 1. Me, I'm really getting on Arisa. Trap point, trap So, so. I've got that. Yeah, Mr. Roll one, Kill one, kill one, kill one. I'm packing bottom, I'm packing bottom right now. Drill side, drill side, drill side, drill side. Nice. Winnable, winnable, winnable. I have good angle. I'm up, I'm up. one, kill one. Kill one. I'm up, kill one. I'm on, I'm on, I'm on. Kill one, kill one. 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 <laughs> there you go, win that at the end. I really like the player comms at the very end there, hyping them up. That was uh, a yeah. win on midtown. Esperanza is up next, Matt. Um, what, do, what do you expect to kind of see here? We've tied up the series huh. already. I, I think both these teams are just going to play like the Arisa Mirror. I mean, maybe if you're M80, you think about like bringing the, the Maga back uh, potentially. But sure. I, I think both of these teams are starting to get into a little bit of a groove, you know, in this kind of like Arisa head to head, right? Uh, they're fortunate for M80, right? They win that, you know, first map. Obviously, they played it great and they had that kind of like Maga pocket pick, you know, kind of strat there, right? Because, you know, who knows what happens on Lighthouse uh, you know, otherwise, right? They caught you know, the time was completely off guard. Yeah, they really did. It looked very, uh, very winnable there for M80, especially with their defense looking really nice on uh, point three of Midtown.
But uh, we'll see if the timers also have any substitutions there, Matt, too. It's also a big question. Every single map, and they've been the ones to use the substitutions the most. So I have to wait and see what uh, ends up happening after this uh, small package of highlights here. Uh, Malga, oh, I don't know. I'm, I'm slowly falling out of love with the Malga, the Arista, and what we saw from like KSA and Twisted Minds, the Ram. It just works out so much better for, for most teams right now. Yeah, I mean, maybe if you want to play Brush, like the answer is to play like Ramatra, right? And just yeah. kind of like play uh, the same type of stuff that you played with the Maga, but just Ramatra in the mix. Uh, he just powers blocks. It just doesn't give us like much resources to like the entire oh. uh, team. Is uh, Renko will come in here for Ultraviolet? Renko? So, uh, no, uh, with Ultraviolet. So yeah, uh, this so this is like you don't want to do you not want to play Lucio here? Like, what is the what is the call here? I wonder. Hmm. Yet to be seen. Okay. Renko's smile is in. Lep is out. No changes for Timeless as well. So not a substitution we thought we'd see. But hey, I'm a, I'm here for it. I haven't called Renko's name in a hot minute as we jump over to Esperanza. But I think you might be right there, Matt. Maybe Lucio. Because uh, Lep has really been kind of a Lucio player we've seen for, you know, M80 the entire time. Uh, potentially, uh, you still want to play it, but maybe you have some flexibility to play some other things, uh, you know, in the mix. Uh, you could be looking at like a, you know, do you want to play like a Baptiste like type of uh, situation? So uh, I think this will be really interesting what M80 decides to do. Nothing changes on the timeless uh, side of things. So uh, they're going to keep Chopper in the game, uh, keep Riker in the game and just keep on moving forward. Yeah, no changes. No, uh, no icy yet. Can't imagine we're going to see him at some point during the series. It's, it's got to be. I mean, timeless. Swap them in and out, in and out, in and out. So we'll have a look. Right, let's have a look at M80's comp then. Because Renko can obviously play the Lucio yeah. too, but yeah. not something that I'd expect from the team. But hey, you never know. Yeah, I mean, uh, definitely can play the, the Lucio. I think just like when you see a sub like this, you expect to be something else than, you know, just a, a clean like one Lucio for one Lucio swap, right? Uh, maybe. Maybe there's a, another different type of composition they want Renko in potentially uh, to help them play. But you know, in terms of what they have now, I don't think you're going to see them change anything else. Yeah, they are just going to you know swap Renko in for Lep here and uh, you know, go with the Arisa base composition. Timeless here. Uh, they'll have Chopper play Cassidy. So uh, no Sojourn, at least at the start here uh, for Timeless. Maybe they thought there was like, going to be a Winston setup on the other side, potentially. Yeah, the, the cast is also something that we've seen uh, spatterings of here and there. Don't mind it, but in the neutral fights, Matt, the Soge is just so favored. The Railgun is just so yeah, if you powerful. If you play a round of like the central pillar and play a little bit more defensive, I think you can get some value out of the Cassidy, but uh, they lose uh, Chopper right away there. I think with how teams are playing this Arisa, where like, okay, if the slide is out, we're just going to dive that character. You know, we're really like looking at the Sojourn. Uh, Cassie just doesn't have the mobility to play into that. So you're going to see Chopper make that switch right away. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, I don't want to stick on the Cassidy for too long. Some cost fallacy with ultimates, but you haven't really charged much up anyway. Plus, you you still retain a little bit of the ult charge, but meh. Meh, you die pretty quick. It's all good. We'll see how uh, timers end up taking this fight. Classic Esperanza moment. You push it around this first corner, just back up, go to high ground. Few players weak from M80 there on the high ground. No, you know, Chopper lands a shot into Hydron and then Disruptor shot as well, throws down some damage. So just trying to open up that area of the map, potentially you see Rocket trying to take control of that high ground. Oh, nice couple of headshots from UV. That's gonna grant them a rush. Pretty defensive looking rush there as it goes towards the, the little choke point, but it's perfect because Pelican's pushing all the way in there. Chopper's already down, and Pelican with a pulse bomb lands on the pillar, but still does an awful lot of damage to Riker, who backed straight up into it. Another pulse bomb thrown out, instantly gets Suzu, so even if it did stick, it wouldn't have done anything. And now Hydron with a perfect angle, holding the mega health pack. Hawk says, get down, Mr. President, as he just stands on top of him to make sure he doesn't take any damage. But Hawk doesn't, uh, Hydron does end up falling, but still the payload's going and there's no defense here from Timeless. That is checkpoint if they're not careful. Oh, that was close. Man, opener, uh, oh, riskiest boy uh, known to man. That was insane, almost AJ'd again. Yeah. 
sound barrier for both sides, and it doesn't even result in, uh, you know, Timeless holding on and not giving up that checkpoint. This M80 does get control of that first, but, man, that previous fight, Hydron was able to land some serious damage down, whether it be uh, at the beginning, just getting that first pick off, and then the overclock, you know, in that close quarter area is uh, starting to come alive on the Sojourn, as it looks like uh, Timeless trying to run away with the bot here. I don't think they're going to be able to get too far. M80 a little bit quick on the rotation too. Hot on their heels. Pelican looking for a way to be relevant in this fight as well. Pulse Bomb about 20% away. Doesn't want to have to use Recall this early. Very much just trying to force Rocket. Okay, well they both end up using it. So all good. Neutral fight for Traces. This overclock shouldn't be that neutral, but I mean Chopper's struggling to find enemy. Rocket on the other hand is not. Rocket mode, pulsing Renko, not smiling anymore, I'd imagine. Here comes the rush as well to make sure this fight is a one for Timeless. More kills would be great. Staggers would be even better. Yeah, I mean, what? They get first pick off there, uh, does Timeless, and then Ultraviolet has to use the Suzu, and then they just use the Kitsune Rush, and there's no way that M80 is going to be able to live through all of that damage that's going to come down. Is uh, Hawk Spear spitting, Fortified, just doing anything to try and live. Is uh, now Timeless will get close to potentially taking the checkpoint. And because that fight went that way rather quickly and Renko ends up falling, I mean, look at this. You have a little bit of a gap here between Opener and Renko in terms of sound back. Are you going to touch? Yeah, Pelican's got it. He's vibing on the point, but can't vibe for too much longer. Forced to recall. Now Hawks joined the fray. Riker can just uh, sit up on this point, though. As long as Riker survives for long enough, Matt, he can use that ultimate. There it is. Terror Surge comes out. There's the Sand Barrier, too. Just making sure they distract for long enough to try and get that checkpoint in, but not to be. Their DPS just unable to get kills there. They were just kind of waiting for a pickoff from Chopper, from Rocket, but those pickoffs never came. Yeah, and I, I don't know if I really love the way they even played that uh, to begin with, right? Riker gets so low, they sound barrier, and then he kind of uses the terror surge, uh, kind of like clears players off of the bot, maybe trying to get it like across the line, but it, it still gets contested. Uh, and they're not able to make any progress, even investing all those ultimates. And now that gives M80 a pretty big advantage here. Okay, stable. Speed boost out. Oh, uh, okay. Railgun kill just kills UV. All right, I guess they were just peeking up on the high ground. Took a little bit too much damage. Chopper almost takes another one of them there. Pulse bomb available for Rocket. Hawk's super low, but there's the sand barrier. Stick does land, does the damage, but is it enough? Hawk's still getting healed up. Two big ultimates invested there, and uh, doesn't like time, so they're going to be able to win this fight. I mean, Hawk trading a Pulse Bomb for a Terror Surge, you take that any day of the week if you're an 80. I mean, they, they don't have that sound barrier. I don't think Hawk lives through that as uh, now Hydron actually pushes up, kills Rocket. So these Sojourns just going back and forth. It feels like, you know, uh, here, here's a pick for Chopper to open up a fight. Then now it's Hydron answering right back. So uh, they both had a huge impact on this uh, map thus far. Overclock available for Chopper. Yeah, 53 meters to 48. It couldn't be closer right now as we are at the four minute mark. This or four minutes to go at least. Oh, nice double shot onto Renko. They're gonna be able to survive on high ground? Of course they're not. UV tried to save the team with that Suzu, but it wasn't to be three minutes and 40 seconds now. And MAT end up losing that fight. Timers can move on. And this is a big, uh, big turning point here. If they manage to get this checkpoint, which it looks like they should be able to, because Pelican's the only one real close here. They can play that corner. They got the rush and the Terror Surge if MAT want to try and run into them with their own rush. Yeah, and they're going to have that sound barrier again. These sound barriers are like offset between Renko and Opener. So uh, you're going to have that sound barrier yet again as well to kind of like boost your chances in this fight as uh, both of these teams exactly even in terms of the amount of meters. Suzu, there's the pulse. There's a... Oh my God, the Kutsune rushes are exactly on top of each other almost. Sound barrier from Opener, like you called back, keeping Riker alive as he was spinning to win. No kills for Timeless until uh, until I say that, and then Hawk ends up going down. M80 slowly losing control of this game now. Is uh, they are going to let that bot go past that next corner, and it is closing in on their final checkpoint as well. Now we're heading towards the danger zone, Matt. Esperanza is pretty tough to come back from once the barricade has moved this far. 
Yeah, and, and I think if you're timeless, I think just kind of like the goal of this next fight, I mean, you'd love Chopper to get a pick early, right? Maybe see if Renko will use that sound barrier as they feel a little bit desperate. There's that first pick. They're just going to save it, but this is massive, right? You want them to end up having to use that sound barrier to like basically leave spawn and prevent a cap because they're going to have to get the bot so far the opposite way that with 212 on the clock, hey, that that's the type of situation where what, you're going to get like below a minute, a minute on the clock, and they're going to have no ultimates to use you just need one defense and you pretty much have like three chances uh to do it so this is huge here for timeless yeah i think you hit the nail on the head matt just force them to use that beat just to make like a, a meterage of movement right i mean not even that because the bot takes so long to get back to their barricade so time is trying to force as many ultimates as they possibly can out of m80 that one minute mark is nearing. There is uh, one terror surge being thrown out. A lot of that damage, Suzu. It's actually Pelican that falls. They're the hands of rockets. 106 meters and counting. Hawk in a lot of trouble. Has to receive the beat to be kept alive. This is exactly what Time just wanted. They want M82 Zolt here. A sound barrier. A Arisarol, like uh, any more, would be beautiful for Timeless. They can come back into this next fight with a beat and an overclock. Yeah, I mean, you can tell that M80 definitely didn't want to use that sound barrier there, but they, they almost, you, you're kind of forced to, right? Uh, no, if you don't use it there, you may you may not even get an opportunity to use it. You may get like a map completion. So Chopper. Uh, you will have Ultraviolet with uh, the Kitsune Rush here. Maybe just trying to find a part of the map that you can better set this up is uh, Chopper actually you know, takes that front spot and goes towards their side of the high ground. Lucky he doesn't get caught out. Yeah, that's, if that spear landed, I think that'd be one dead Sojin. All right, high ground control for Chopper. He's got OC. He's got a pulse gun with his name written on it, though, I'd imagine. Up to the high ground went Hydron. Here comes the sound barrier. Hydron in trouble. Chopper trying to land out some shots. There's the stick. Pelican lands it. Chopper down. No overclock for Timeless now. Going to have to respawn and use that one as M80. End up winning that fight. They got that checkpoint. They got that forward spawn, Matt, and a team kill. But overtime is 10 seconds away. Yeah, and he, here's your big window of opportunity for M80, right? Uh, it's going to be on the, the, the Sojourns again, both with Overclock. Uh, potentially here you have Timeless with like a setup we've seen a few times, right? Terror Surge, grab players in, then use the Overclock and let Chopper just put down damage as all the players going to get like sucked into that ultimate, almost like a mini grab. Yeah, it looks like they want to maybe set up something like that, but they can't quite get past the front line as Chopper takes care of Hydron. Both overclocks looking at each other and Chopper comes out on top. Everybody pretty fearful of Chopper right now. You can see M80 trying to run away and cower undercover. Hawk, well, I mean, that's the only thing he really could do there was just try and set up something with his ultimate. The sound barrier from Renko hits two. Ultraviolet kills Opener, but the spawn advantage for Timeless might be too great. Opener kills, uh, Ultraviolet kills yet another one, but it's too little, it's too late. Timeless, take the map as M80. And now down one and timeless on match points. Map number four up next, and it could be M80's last hurrah. Yeah, I mean, you just see the overclock there at the end from Chopper, right? Uh, no, you're able to get one kill there. Hawk using the Terror Surge, trying to like grab players together. It looked like they were playing around Renko's uh, sound barrier, him trying to get the sound barrier, and Chopper just burns him down in seconds. Uh, I mean, you know, a little bit uh, difficult to get that one off, and the Sojourn's right in the face, but needed probably that extra cooldown or survivability, but uh, timeless, you know, in a, in a map where they did not have the lead for a majority of it, right? You know, yeah, M80 gets right. a really good first push, and then after that, I feel like it is all timeless. Yeah, they, it feels like they're such a scrappy team. That's the kind of vibe that I've got from them, uh, especially playing the most maps uh, out of any from the North American region going through uh, the different stages. And it's been a really magnificent thing to watch. A lot of uh, a lot of what the desk talked about as well was there's a lot of old heads uh, in Overwatch CS, especially in North America, that have been around Overwatch League for a long time. And now these young guns coming in and really just I would say punching up, but they're just kind of punching on the same level right now as uh, Rocket and Chopper specifically have just been so sick on DPS, bringing it to players that have had legacies built for them in the Overwatch League. Yeah, and uh, I, we talked a little bit about, it. obviously, Renko comes in here for lap for M80. Uh, this is the first game that he's played in the top 16, uh, right. I believe. I think uh, he played a game against uh, Na I'd Win. 
uh yeah but uh, but you know really since their group stages uh you know this is like he played a, a, a game there and then that was about it so uh there's a sub here for m80 obviously we're not uh, you know with, with the team daily not not exactly sure kind of like what's going on maybe they kind of see something that fits maybe a little bit more i uh, know into renko's skill set at the moment but uh yeah not something we've seen as of late see so if they want to sub him back out or maybe just keep him in i mean who knows we're going on to suravasa as our next map we'll get the substitutions if there are any uh, in just a moment and actually just getting confirmation now that there are no subs so renko staying in for m80 timeless is one map away matt from landing themselves in that finals against toronto defiant who they went it to a five mapper up in the uh, upper bracket earlier on this tournament yeah, and that was a sick game, uh, you know, between those two teams. I mean, that one felt like it really could have gone either way. So uh, for for me, uh, you know, seeing that rematch would be pretty awesome. But I I'm sure that M80, you know, with the, the players that they have on this roster, you know, and uh, how much obviously kind of what they've already built as legacy is just them, right? Uh, you know, means they don't want to go out, you know, like this to Timeless and then also not get a potential another shot at Toronto Defiant uh, until like next stage, right? Like it right, would be a right. long time between these teams like match up again. And uh, I know to have two pretty rough defeats uh, would be would be a bad way, I think, for M80 to end this one. Map number four, M80 versus Timeless. A place in the finals on the line now as Timeless head into this map on match point. Yeah, and uh, I know they're going to keep Renko in. Obviously, no subs here for M80. So uh, maybe just want a little bit of a different look in terms of Lucio play. But uh, I, I think you're going to see both these teams just kind of commit to these Aresis. Uh, it's been kind of what we've seen for pretty much everything outside of like that first point uh, on Ilios, uh, which I think M80 does a fantastic job, you know, putting together like a Smaga Sime comp to really kind of catch them off guard. Uh, since then, it's been all Arisa, but also since then, it's been, uh, I know, a lot in favor of Timeless. Life. Oh, man, I want to see some dive. <laughs> I really want to see just Winton everywhere. I was curious um, if Riker was ever going to switch up, especially on some of these faster maps, but um, Arisa is really just a port of call. Same comps, same comps. Going in for the mirror. It's, uh, nothing too surprising here as uh, M80. The end time, let's probably just take opposite sides here. So, so nobody wants to be the one that gives that soldier on that charge, right? And then has to kind of push on into it. Ooh. I love the long range spears too. Should be kind of a, you know, you remember Doom Sumo? They should have that, but for Orisa. So yeah. it's just like the spears and you just have to knock each other off the edge. I think it'd be kind of wicked. I'll be kind of sick of that. I'm not yeah, lie. okay. Okay, thanks, man. Thanks yeah, for the approval, yeah, Matt. Appreciate uh, it's that. Kind of my, it's kind of my thoughts there. Yeah, uh, that'd great, be great. Thanks. All great. right. You know, uh, <laughs> cat, shut up. You and your fish, shut you and your up, fish can play together. <laughs> boy, boy cat by Timeless Chopper gets a kill. Quit your yapping. We got Overwatch to view it. I, I, quit, quit my app, and you're the one uh, talking about some some invisible made up Arisa game mode. Well, I'm just trying to have fun, like, man. Off. I've been on broadcast for a long time today. I'm just having a little bit of fun. Okay, okay. Open a window, go outside some more, huh? Just uh, yeah, get that funny bone in order. Uh, I don't know. I think uh, the the desk is the one's putting in the heavy work there. Okay, yeah, we're gonna have words yeah, after this, brother. All right, time is what you got for. <laughs> yeah, probably not. <laughs> <laughs> Chopper taking a lot of damage in the front line. There's two rushes going on on the point. Chopper takes this guy. He's trying to find an angle into this fight. Uh, that looks like going to make that rather hard for him. Here's the recall. Still, still, Chopper coming up with just damage right now. And the kills, nothing can stop Chopper and his unquenchable thirst to Soldier and Diff. Nice headshot too onto Ranko. My God. All right, time to get the first cap. I mean, you know, we, we've talked so much, I feel like, about, uh, you know, Rocket for this Timeless uh, team and, like, you know, obviously well-deserved. Uh, it feels like since they've subbed in Chopper, I mean, things have obviously gone, you know, a completely different way. Is you know, that time, you know, the, there's not really even, like, long, you know, team fights that go on. It's, like, two different fights, maybe maybe a third, where he just gets the first pick every single time uh, on the Sojourn. And now moving into the next one, has that overclock. You just see the damage output, right? You know, at least here on it, uh, Suravasa, oh. where it was 66% for Hydra. He actually gets hit with a spear and yeah. then uh, followed up with a kill. 
kill. Uh, he, he's like, what? You're going to have like a 40% lead in terms of old charge, 30% lead in terms of old charge here for Chopper at the start. And these kills are going to allow Timeless to take the second flashpoint. <laughs> Hydron is having the worst time right now. Time is uh, in a position as well, especially on this point. This Terror Surge can really wreak havoc, especially on these tight corners. I mean, Riker, I mean, Hawk can drag people through, but I mean, Riker just plays all the way at the back, just kind of baits M80 in. There's the overclock. They know they've got the advantage in terms of this one. I mean, Hydron's have to back all the way up, and Hawk just taking infinite damage. Tried to get away with the spear spin, holding S, but turns away for a brief moment. He's just lasered. 50% and counting now for Timeless. Yeah, I mean, you're nowhere close to a beat for both teams, really, right? And then that overclock comes out. Uh, there's nothing you can really do is uh, M80. They're going to have, like, one fight left here, probably. Yeah, that's uh, insane. And then you're already on, like, game point. Uh, I mean, this has been really fast so far. Yeah, extraordinarily quick. they got to come back with something. Here's Hydron's overclock. Everybody running, hiding behind those pillars. Pulse Bomb goes out, hits Hawk, receives the Suzu, but not quite enough uh, time to heal him all the way back up. Oh, he drags Rocket, and actually the initial cast damage there actually killed the Tracer. But Hawk was just so vulnerable in the front line, man. They end up just falling over to another Chopper Railgun. There is a rush, but how much use can you really get out of this, especially when there's a sound barrier on the side of Timeless? 99%, almost to 100, UV chased out. That's, that's Matt Point, Matt. Timeless need one more yeah, point, yeah. and they booked their ticket to the finals. Where are M80? Uh, I mean, uh, since uh, map one, it has really been all timeless. As Hawk now switches over to the Winston here to uh, maybe just try and access this back line a little bit. I think you're trying to also help Hydron a, a bit, right? Put some pressure on the opposing team Sojourn to kind of like open things up a little bit uh, for your own as uh, they will have a big advantage. So you're going to have this Renko sound barrier coming in potentially. All right, dive, dive, dive. M80 trying to find themselves again. It's going to be rough for Hawk. Look at the damage he's already taken, Matt. Has to receive that B. Here comes the secondary dive. In onto the back line. They're looking. They just back up. Yeah, they, I mean, they were looking at the tracer, but they, yeah, they just have to back up. I mean, that's, that's totally fine, though, if you're timeless, right? Like, you're okay. I mean, you're up two points. You're okay giving up. They basically use Sound Barrier to get, you know, 20% on the point, right? Uh, you'll, you will take that trade now as they, they get that first kill on the Hawk. And that's what's going to be difficult, just kind of keeping him alive, right? There's going to be so much damage that goes down onto that Winston uh, that it, it's going to be really difficult for Hawk to live, especially because this point is in such close quarters. So he's going to go and play the Sigma. I, I think it's a better idea to not play the Winston here. Yes. Uh, I know maybe you could have said, okay, we're going to do that Arisa mirror, but they're going to play a little bit more defensive here with that Sigma in the mix. I don't think that Winston would have worked out well, so I'm happy to see that M80's deciding to make a swap. Hog is a very good Sigma too. We'll see how uh, they end up taking this fight because a small rotation up to the high ground there might be uh, might be needed, but... Don't want to fear the boot. You've got to fear the boops as well. The boop off the map. That would be uh, quite awkward if he went down to that. Oh, nice eat by Hawk there. Just 180 spinning to make sure Rocket can't get that stick attached to him. Rocket ends up paying for that too. Overclock for the Soge. Huh. His chop is trying to uh, look they into can't this push fight. Into the point though. It's yeah. It's kind of rough. Look at all this damage. I mean, he's still and finding the flip got the sound bit. Yeah, Opener's got the sound barrier, and I think they're just holding it for when, like, Ultraviolet uses the rush, but they don't feel like they need to use the rush to take the point. Okay, so they eventually just bully Riker all the way out, uh, where that that's, I think, what Timeless is looking for. Like, maybe if you can get Hawk low, which they did, I know, with the Terror Surge, maybe it forces that, you know, a little bit of a disengage, and then the Kitsune rush, and then you just beat if you're Timeless, and you're, you know, good to go. Uh, Timeless does come back with a sound barrier and overclock combination. Uh, gonna be very difficult to kill Chopper, and it uh, looks like probably resulting some kills from himself. Oh, 100%. Ultraviolet has got a rush to counter, though, but here comes the overclock. Chopper taking an off angle as well. No need to beat just yet, just split the team, and then you can go forward. But Renko's already dead. 90% for M80, but time is to just running away with this one. Hawk's on his loan, so I'm on an island trying to fight for his life and fight for M80s too. But time is just going to wipe them and take the map and the series and book themselves a ticket to the finals. That's an extremely fast game of Suravasa yeah. where 
uh, now considering how this series went, uh, right, Jack? I mean, uh, no, M80, they brawl it out towards the end of, uh, no, Ilios, right? They end up coming out on top there. Uh, and then what? It's like a full hold on, uh, no, Midtown pretty much. And we just kind of like fly through the rest of the series. Uh, yeah. I mean, uh, you know, uh, what they beat them on push by like a considerable margin as well, right? So, uh, after that first map, it was really all timeless. I want to know how quick that serve Asa actually was, because that's going to be one of the quickest on record. Just especially it, the, it, it the first two like points were like minutes. Yeah, like instant. It, it was ridiculous. M80 end up going down and Timeless now get their chance for a rematch against Toronto Defiant in the finals. They got beaten down by uh -huh. Toronto in a 3-2 in a fashion, sent to the losers, and then have made their way all the way back up to the finals now. This is a revenge match for Timeless now. Yeah, and I'd say the first time that we saw, you know, uh, Timeless play Toronto, I really thought like Rocket had a tremendous series for Timeless. Yep. I think if you're Toronto, you're a little bit like scared because like Chopper's playing like lights out so far uh, today. So uh, now you have the other DPS player really kind of like picking it up for Timeless. It's going to be difficult to beat. The DPS are beasts for Timeless. Let's listen in to the winning comms there at the very end from Timeless. Okay, they didn't have beat, yeah. Yeah, okay, I'm, go I'm going fast, I'm walking now. Yeah, yeah. Two, 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 I'm walking on the stage, I'm walking on the stage. Checking sick hard, checking sick hard. Come point, come point, come point, come point. Take up, 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 take Open the nice. chill. Nice. Oh left. my god! Oh, oh, my god. Oh, my god. <laughs> there you have it, guys. It is going to be timeless moving on to the grand finals. But we're going up against Toronto Defiant. I gotta say, I'm gonna be honest, I, I'm a pretty I'm pretty surprised, but credit where credit's due. They were definitely the better team compared to um, M80. They were amped up. They yeah. were ready. You I can mean, tell this what moment. this means to them. It's huge. This is, uh, you know, this is personal. Just starting with the storylines right away, right? This is this is personal because in Flash Ops in December, one of the tournaments here in North America, we saw the Timeless actually won. But that was a different Timeless. True. That was a Timeless with Hawk on that roster and Wisp, who has Riker and all these story players, they were the team who got second in Flash Ops North America, right? So they wanted revenge this time and they beat out Hawk. Now, on that roster they lost to in the Grand Finals was also RuPaul, Vega, Sugarfree, yeah. who are they are now squaring up against again in this Grand Final. So, you know, th these guys on the current Timeless roster, they, they got history. They got history with these guys. They were ready for this opportunity and they seized it. It was a great performance here against M80. Yeah, still a lot of big performances came out from M80. I feel like they didn't disappoint on an individual level. Saw a ton of production from Pelican and Hydron, but on the other's team, I mean, you've got to say Timeless, they were, they were just lights out. Map one, M80 did look pretty good. I thought, oh wow, maybe M80 really did come to play, but Timeless, they just, they speed up, they speed up, they speed up. They don't seem to ever be taking these hits and, and, and slowing down or, or losing any kind of confidence. Even on push, they fell behind and they brought it back from a pretty big deficit, um, which really speaks to their, their stick to as players, right? That they can take some L's and, and take some tough fights and still be right back into the engagement. And so I think they're gonna need that when it comes to facing off against the Toronto Defiant in the Grand Finals, who, who are a beast in a different category, I think, let's say, than M80. So I think Timeless, an incredible win for them. This probably means so much to them just to be top two. But now you start to believe, like, maybe they can win it all, right? Like, even though it's Toronto Defiant, maybe there's a chance. Yeah, I think that Timeless has established themselves as probably the best team in North America when it comes to the Orisa, Tracer, Sojourn mass matchup specifically. Mm. But now you're going up against Toronto Defiant. A Toronto Defiant team has been very flexible, played so many different compositions, can always adapt, right? And so Timeless looking great here. Chopper and the Sojourn having a lot of impact. Nice Ooh. amount of eliminations right there, 11 deaths for him in this matchup. So this is a Timeless team that is just stacked to the brim. As much as we talked about Chopper, Rocket, the backline as well this time around with CJ and Opener, mm -hmm. all contributing this one. Riker on the Orisa establishing some differential. And you pointed out here on Midtown, Jake, that 
you know, it was a really good hold from Timeless, and they really set up these damage players for success. Yeah, I think CJ for me has been really fun to watch. I mean, we don't get to see his cam all that much because for the most part, he's going to be behind these key frontliners. But like, I love this rank. Look, CJ, he's right in here on the flank. This hits like a ton of bricks. Lucio, Kiri, Soj all jumping up on that angle where you don't expect a single player to attack you from. That completely caught M80 off guard and was a huge part of generating the lead that won them the map. So for me, CJ, his ability to fight it out in the back line on Kiriko, he's been a massive difference maker uh, for me in the back line of Timeless. Yeah, I mean, we're talking about Chopper. We're talking about the DPS lineup. That's who we have for the post-match interview for this one. We got Chopper on the line to hear some insight about this match. Chopper, uh, big congratulations on getting the win. Thank you so much. All right, uh, I mean, I know you guys have to get ready for the Grand Finals, and that is the biggest match, so I'm going to make this quick. Was there anything you guys spe you guys did specifically uh, to get the win against M80 today? Uh, to be honest, we knew that like after our Luminosity game yesterday, that we should just play our own game. You know, uh, at the start of the tournament, it was a bit shaky. You know, we went 3-2 with Pip, 3-1 with students of the game, but every map was down to the wire, you know? And that Luminosity game, I think, gave us a lot more confidence. And overall, I'm just really happy we beat M80 again because, I mean, you look at their players and they have some real, like, top talent, like Overwatch League veterans. And we beat them in groups once, 3-2, but, you know, you could call that a fluke, maybe, because they're a new team and maybe it was just a choke. But I'm real glad that we won again in 3-1 fashion, you know? Yeah, Chopper, so I just want to ask you, you know, I talked to you years ago uh, when you were still, like, I would say, even for a lot further down on, like, the up-and-coming side of the spectrum as a DPS player in NA. And so I wanted to ask you, with a top two position now in NA, I mean, if you guys can stay top two after the second qualifier, you'll be going to, to DreamHack and playing an international land against some of the best players in the world. What does it mean to you guys, you know, all the players in your team are in a similar position that that would be a first for, I think, all of you, except, you know, maybe maybe one or two. What does that mean to you to play and beat some of the biggest names so far that we've seen in the scene here in the OWCS? I mean, it, I think it means genuinely like so much, you know, like a lot of us are contenders players. We didn't really have the chance to uh, perform and show up in like Overwatch League other than like the Pro-AM, I believe. And, you know, top three, top three makes land. We were happy with top three, but being able to make top two is like, you know, it's insane, you know, feeling, beating Pelican, Hydron, Hawk, like all these veterans, you know, like, I don't know. I wasn't really expecting top three. I was expecting top three, but you know, it was acceptable if we were losing to Toronto or Amity, because you just look at their players and it's just, it's understandable, you know? So being able to come out on top is, it's just insane, really. All right, Chopper, I'm going to let you go. I know you guys have to talk, talk about the match uh, coming up. Good, best of luck to you. Thank you so much. I'll see you soon. Thanks, Chopper. All right, thank you so much. All right, that was Chopper from Timeless.